Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Raven Maureen and today I just kind of got the instinct and impulse to do a two-piece matching set for using Simplicity 9018 and if you look at the very top of the screen I have two checkered pieces of fabric here and I don't have enough of either one to make this a full black and white checkered outfit or a full white and mint checkered outfit so I kind of got this idea to do like a mixture of the two and I'm gonna color block them now I am not someone that color blocks all the time but when I do decide to color block I like for it to make sense and so I got both of these pieces of fabric from Hobby Lobby and I have maybe like a yard and a half of the mint and about three yards of the black and white and so the idea here is to make like one of the sleeves and possibly the neckband a different color than the rest of the body and then also do the same for the pant legs and I know that this was something that was in my head so I figured that I might as well do a sketch for you guys that way you wouldn't be lost while you watch me sew this up um, that way you guys can see the vision as well and whatnot so um, Hope you enjoy this vlog and I'll see you on the other side. So the first step is to attach the front and back bodice at the shoulder seams and so I do plan to use my serger for I would say maybe 90% of this project. Now I'm working on the neck band. I decided to make the neck band a mint color just to kind of break it up a little bit. So I decided to do a basting stitch for the neckband since that's always a little tricky with the math and the stretching and whatnot. So after I did the basting stitch, I actually took it to my serger and I did the serging just like you see here. So I diverted from the directions with the pattern a little bit. So they wanted to do an eased in sleeve, like a set in sleeve. I don't really like to do that with knit fabric or with patterns that require using knit. So instead, I actually decided to do a flat install, which means that you basically leave the sides open and then you pretty much pin the sleeve in on the curve, matching the notches and whatnot. I did have to clip in a few extra notches on one of the sides, that way the fabric would 
match up the right way. But all in all, this was a lot easier than doing two rows of basting and trying to ease it in and make a fit. No, 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 no. This was so much easier. And then just like my sketch, I decided to make one of my sleeves the mint checkered color. So that's what I am surging into right now. So now I'll be working on surging down my sides. So most of the hard part is over. We're, we're going into the easy part at this point. So I'm doing a quick fit check and the sleeves are droopier than I'd like for them to be. I do want this to be a little bit snugger, but I'm not completely dissatisfied with the body. It's really more just the sleeves for me. So, yeah, so far so good. At this point, I decided to take off about half an inch I don't think this will be enough, but we're just going to wait and see.
So I'm back from being out of town and I kept this on my sewing table and so now I gotta finish it. And where I left off was that it was a little too big. And so I'm gonna, and it, it was big in the sleeves and in the sides. I'm actually gonna do a basting stitch down each side and each sleeve. And then, so I don't kill my serger knife. And then I'm gonna trim it and then I'll resurge it. So that's where I am with this project now. Okay, so I am happy with the fit now. <clears throat> I think I did like a 7-8 seam allowance, so I'm gonna trim the seam allowance down and then I'm gonna take it to my serger and do the final trim. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you check out part two where I sew up the pants to this coordinated set and you'll get to see the final look. And if you're not following me already, you can follow me at Raven Maureen on TikTok, Threads, and Instagram. And you can subscribe to this channel right here on YouTube. See you later.